In this video, we will show you the steps for Office 365 project creation. Let's start the video. Go to the Microsoft Azure portal and sign in with an admin account. Upon successful login, click on the three horizontal bars and few options appears. Click on Azure Active Directory. Now again in the same horizontal bar, click on App Registrations and then on the right side, click on New Registration. Register Application Panel Open in the Name field. Enter the application name and expand the Redirect URI drop-down to select the web option and click on the Register button. Following that, go to the Certificates and Secrets option. Click on the Certificates tab and upload a certificate. Select the certificate and click on the Open button. You can browse the certificate at the mentioned path. You can enter any name in the description field. And click on the Add button. Then go to API, Permissions. Click on Add a Permission button. The permissions that you need to add, depends on the Office 365 data, that you are planning to migrate. Mailbox migration would require different permissions, and so does Microsoft Teams and SharePoint sites. We have explained all the steps and phases, so please follow the processor. Office 365 Source and Destination Platform Now click on the Microsoft Graph. Then click on the Application Permissions. In Select Permission bar, enter the permissions here. Calendars.read Contacts.read Directory.read. All. Files.read. All. Group.read. All. Group member. Read. All. Mail. Read. Mailbox settings. Read. User. Read. All. Then click on the Add Permissions button. APLS My Organization Users and search for Office 365 Exchange Online. Click on it. And click on Application Permissions. Select the permissions. Full access is app. Mail. Read write. Tasks. Read write. All permissions are selected. Now click on the Add Permissions button. Once all the permissions are added, now click on the Grant Admin Consent for listed permissions. Grant admin consent to these permissions as shown. Click on Yes button. On the right side, pops up show the status. Process completed. Enter the permissions here. Calendars.read write. Contacts. Dot. Read. Write. Directory. Dot. Read. Write. Dot. All. Files. Dot. Read. Write. Dot. All. Group. Dot. Read. Write. Dot. All. Group member. Dot. Read. Write. Dot. All. Mailbox settings. Dot read write. Mail dot read write.
user dot read all and click on application permissions select the permissions such as full access is app mail dot read write tasks dot read write all permissions are selected now click on the add permissions button once all the permissions are added now click on the grant admin consent for listed permissions process completed same as follow for the teams permissions for source platform Now select permissions. Team. Dot. Read basic. All. Channel. Dot. Read basic. All. Files. Dot. Read. Dot. All. Channel message dot read dot all. Now follow the steps to grant the permissions. Now in Teams Destinations Platform. Now select permissions for Teams Destination Platform. Files. Dot. Read. Write. Dot. All. Teamwork. Dot. Migrate. All. Now grant the permissions. Now moving to the last option. SharePoint site. Grant permissions for source platform. Sites. Dot. Read. Dot. All. Now grant the permissions. Sites. Dot. Full control. Dot. All. Sites. Dot. Read. Write. Dot. All. Here all the, the permissions done for the three fields. Now on the left sidebar click on the overview. Finally, when all permissions have required admin consent, you can now enter the created application ID in the Sys Tools software. And that's it. Hope you enjoy the video. 